Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go as fast, as quickly as we can. We're going to bring it up to 140,000 RPM, which is high as we dare go. Last year with sophomore college, we built this uh, jet engine from scratch. And the whole objective last year was to get it to work, to make it work, and we got it to work. And it's largely in the form now, but there was a lot of deficiencies with it. We couldn't measure anything. We didn't know how much its thrust was. We didn't know what its key temperatures were. And a lot of that stuff didn't work, even though the engine, the engine worked. Uh, this year, the objectives were to, to make it better, to have it to accurately instrumented to have it more safe. So you can see it's surrounded by some big, thick steel plates now and things like that. And to get an afterburner to run on it. And, uh, so we're, we're doing that. We've been testing out various afterburners. The group that's very noisy is just about to test their last iteration. Well, I think the biggest thing I'm going to take away is not being afraid to use my hands and actually apply what I've learned in the classroom. I think that's really going to be a valuable experience. Actually getting to build something which I've never even imagined possible. It's been a great experience overall. Um, like I've said, we've tried a few test runs for our afterburner. You actually see this blue cone of flame just shooting out the end of it and seeing that things work as they're supposed to has been really rewarding. Starting their sophomore year, they've had math and physics, chemistry maybe, maybe one engineering course at the most. This will really tell them what their, what their engineering courses are for. They're, they're, a lot of them will be going to take thermodynamics and uh, this is what that's all about it. We're going to, they've learned a little bit of thermodynamics in the lectures for the course, and now they're going to, they've seen what it's useful for. They're going to be really interested when they learn the material. Also, I think uh, learning a lot about engineering hardware, just uh, most of them didn't know what a bearing was, a lot of mechanical engineering type things. How to, how to work tools. They're all actually machining things and stuff in here, and, and how things are really made. They've all gone and worked with a professional machinist a little bit now, too. So there's a lot of different experiences that will go well in there that I think a lot of them will call back on in their career. So. We lived together for a couple of weeks in Branner, and we were just kind of on the third floor. It was just the jet engine people in one hall. So we definitely got along, not only in the lab, but also outside. We went out to dinner a couple of times. It's been a great experience.